Did you just get your first wheel and pedals last Christmas and you already got bored of Forza Horizon or Carix, so now you're looking to start playing the best racing game there is? Haha, <laughs> JK. Let's be honest, Assetto Corsa might be one of the best racing experiences you'll find for the price as low as 7 euros. My first tip for you, if you're thinking about playing this game, but you're on a budget, wait for any Steam sale because AC usually gets a huge discount and do you need the Ultimate Edition? Absolutely. Don't even try getting the basic one. You'll regret later when you find out some mods won't work. Now, once you get AC, and I really really recommend the Ultimate Edition, you start up the game and you may notice the ugly UI and menu and you'll soon realize you have no idea how to make your own cars or start the game. How do I tune my cars? How can I make my own livery? Why can't I join these drift servers? Well. Don't worry buddy, because I'm gonna help you with all these questions. So first of all, before we start, I have to say this is a guide, not a tutorial, so I won't show you step by step how to install every software or mod, but in description you will find timestamps with tutorials so you know how to install all the stuff that I'm gonna talk about here. First step to your best Asset of Corsa experience is ditching the Steam library game and downloading the Content Manager, a software that makes Asset of Corsa feel like it wasn't made in 2014 and actually gives Gives you a ton of options and makes it absolutely easy to install mods for your game. It's like a launcher for the game made by modders and trust me, once you get it and learn how to work with it, you'll never boot up the game from your Steam library ever again. So just write content manager into Google search bar, click on the first link, download it and voila, you got it. I already have it installed so I'm not gonna show how. There are other tutorials on YouTube that are specifically going through the installation process and the one I used will be in the description, as I said. One important thing I should tell you is when you get custom manager you're getting the light version and that is a free version it lets you download any car mods or maps that you want the only downside is you can't use rain fx which lets you use rainy weather and also blocks some extra fx options also with full version you get better looking smoke and some other useful stuff but my advice is wait try out the game first once you're all comfy with what you got and you feel like you still want more or you want to just support the creator go and pay for the key to upgrade the experience I did after a year of free version and I didn't regret it. Let's head to the second step. Since the game came out in 2014, it's going to look very, very old. The graphics are not gonna be anything like what you see in YouTube music videos. For that, you need to get Sol and some PP filters. PP stands for post processing. So, again, let's head to Google and write Assetto Corsa Sol download. And you'll get to this website with Sol. Again, reminding links will be in the description. By the way, the website is Race Department. Make an account so you can download mods because you're gonna use this website a lot in the future to download tracks and stuff or maybe just to connect with people who like sim racing just like you. Another thing I realized, Sol gives you this guide that I really recommend reading when you're starting. There's a step-by-step -step explanation to installing Custom Manager and Sol. Again, link in the description. So make sure to go through this one. And now that you have Sol, you can start thinking about getting some PP filters. You'll automatically get some from Sol. And first I recommend trying these, but other honorable mentions are natural PP PP filter, sky PP filter and Oli PP filter. All the links will be in the description as I always say. Now another thing is Sol needs to be installed in the old way, basically dropping files into your AC folder. But PP filters you can just open the custom manager and drop the files on top of it. Everything is installed like this, almost everything, I mean some things that won't install like this, you gotta go and install them the old way, so basically just finding the content folder in your AC folder and then just dropping stuff there. So Third step, Ember third. <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm childish. Uh, where to get all the mods? Well, I recommend using Race Department, which has a lot of mods and you know you shouldn't get viruses from there. The only downside is I think Race Department is very hard to navigate through and the download speed is pretty slow. When I just started with AC in 2021, I had so much trouble finding mods that I wanted there. But anyway, you gotta learn how to use it and this website will be your best friend. Another website is AC Totsugeki, which has many, many mods and people will tell you it's pirate website, but from what I've noticed is 
if a mod creator asks them to take down his mod, they will. Some mods are really wonky, but this is what you get if you want free mods. Remember guys, the best ones are always the paid ones. Another way to get mods is to use Discord servers. It also helps you to connect with communities and become part of them. So here are a must join Discord servers for your best Assetto Corsa experience. Toge Union, they have 5 servers called Toge Life 1 to 5 and every server is running a different Toge with different set of cars. There are two free roam servers, which means you can go uphill or downhill as you want, and two downhill only servers, where you can find more competitive drivers trying to set their best time. The fifth server is usually on Gansai, so if you want to feel like Keiichi Tsuchiya in hot version, you should head there to try out some crazy mods. SRP are the servers with the Shutoko Expressway Highway that you've seen in so many slap train videos. Just like Toge Union, these guys have multiple servers. If I remember correctly, there is, I think there's one for time attack, then some without and with traffic, and also servers with slow cars or fast cars. And then Drift Life was created by owner of Toge Union and the owner of SRP. They created servers with WDTS drift cars. These are mostly empty, but if you're just starting, WDTS are probably going to be your go-to drift car pack. Toge Spirit is similar to Toge Union, but they have only one server that switches maps every week. They run polls on their Discord where you can vote for next car packs and Toges used on the server. Sometimes they use more interesting Toges than Toge Union, so I go there to drive somewhere new. I found Takigahara Toge thanks to this server. No Hesse servers, again, mostly known from Slap Train videos, are running on the same map as SRP. The only difference is they use more dense traffic, so instead of high speed chases you have to cut up between AI cars. And it used to be fun, but lately their servers made my game lag so much I had to stop playing there. Also they kept switching car packs and I kind of ran out of space in my computer, but some of their car modes are far superior to SRP. Here comes a small trick, if you run out of space, and believe me, once you get truly into AC and start hoarding tracks and cars, you will go into content, tools, and compress data. This way you can compress all the cars and tracks you downloaded. It shouldn't slow your game or anything, but it will free up some space in your computer. And now the fourth and actually last step before we get into the game, you have to fix your settings. If you're running VR, change the video settings to either OpenVR, Oculus or whatever VR you're using. Next, don't forget to change wheel settings. I basically turned off everything except for FFB, but when you're in game, your FFB will kind of reset anyway. You have to press and hold the plus button for it to go up or minus button for it to go down. Make sure you have respawn button set somewhere so you can use it anytime you crash because people hate drivers who block the whole road when crashing and instead of respawning, they just stay and try to move out slowly, especially when you're new and on downhill only servers. You're gonna get kicked or banned like this. So please set your respawn button and also headlights button. This one is very important for some servers. For example, if you don't turn on headlights on SRP, you're getting kicked. And basically just go over all the buttons that you think you might need, like hazard lights, signal lights, etc. Trust me, I know you just want to play finally, but better get them now and you can forget about it later than forgetting about it now and then later won't know where are all these key binding settings. It's going to make your game experience so much more fun. First tip I'll give you is once you find any good server click down here on favorite so it will be much easier to find it next time. You're gonna find it here. But don't worry if you forgot what server you were at and didn't favorite it you can still look into recent and make it your favorite there. Now a little trick did you find a cool car pack and you want to join some server but when you write the name of the car pack only few servers appear and some don't even have the car well then write it like this write car name of the car pack into search bar same works with tracks you write track and for example ek akina and you'll see all the servers that run Ike Akina track. Once inside the game, on the right side of the screen, you have this menu. I usually play with VR, so I don't use anything. I don't need it. If I'm driving on free roam toge, I listen to the engine sounds of oncoming drivers and I'm trying to see headlights, but you can use whatever you want. I really think that not using map might be really bad at the beginning, but later you're gonna have like so much better reflexes that you're gonna be like much happier and much faster and much more amazing driver. Second 
second tip with F1 button, you can change your view, like first person outside of the car, third person view, wheel cam, etc. Depends on the mod. F6 and F2 works too, but it has a different set of cameras. Third tip, if you want to use free cam, you have to download either Cam Tool 2 or Drone Cam from Race Department. Fourth tip, tuning is important. And as I said at the beginning, I'm gonna answer this question. In this game, you can't really create your own cars, which is really sad. You can, but you have to learn like how to work with 3D modeling and stuff like that in, uh, for example, Blender. So yeah, that sucks. But in this game, it works mainly like this. You download some mod and you drive with that car. You'll hear many people tell you they don't tune to cars, but they do. Even just changing the tire pressure or camber sometimes makes a huge difference in how the car feels and handles. This next tip is gonna flip some people off so much. Fifth tip, anything you need, someone already needed to know too. And I guarantee you, if you write your question into Google and type Reddit behind the question, you'll find out your problems aren't as unique. Also, since the game came out in 2014, any bug, any glitch, any mode you want, someone probably installed that already and maybe had the same problem, same with tutorials, you'll find them all on YouTube, easily. So don't be afraid to use your words. Sixth tip, if you're getting bored of online lobbies and you don't want to just drive up and down in single player, the base game challenge mode are accessible through CM2. Just click on challenges and you can choose any type of challenge you want to do. This will also give you achievements on Steam. So if you're achievement hunter, here you have something to do for a couple hours before you start craving the online again. And here's a bonus tip. In AC, you can't really create liveries like in Forza or Carix. Instead, you have to download GIMP or Photoshop with plugin to create a texture and then swap it with the livery inside the car mod folder. But the only easy way to change livery that doesn't work always is to open up custom showroom and then here you can change the color of the car, rims, interior, etc. Sometimes you can change anything and sometimes it won't, it won't even show you a car if it's encrypted. But it's not even worth spending much time on this because nobody except for you will see the changed color anyway unless they have changed file too. And some servers like Toge Live 4 for example allow you to change the color of the car in the game. All right, I think that's enough for the first beginner's guide. I usually don't make these kinds of videos, so bear with my skills of giving information. I tried my best, I'm, I really tried. So hope you learned something new, if you're new. If you're older player, you definitely knew all of these. Uh, if you have any questions, ask in the comments or Google them. I couldn't come up with anything else that might be too hard find out by yourself. Believe me, if I learned how to use CM, you will too. I'm not like some crazy smart person and neither you are. <laughs> no, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna learn. It's, it's really easy. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, if you want to see more from me and have fun playing. Bye.